Hello, this is my wife, Dr. Amanda Gilbert. And this is my husband, Dr. Lewis Gilbert. And we're both family medicine physicians practicing in Houston, Texas. Today, we're gonna to bring you information on the current pandemic, COVID-19, better known as coronavirus. So Dr. Amanda, let's tell the people what actually is the coronavirus or COVID-19? That's an excellent question. So there are many different types of coronavirus. However, this particular strain that has caused the COVID-19 pandemic is the first time this particular strain has ever been seen in human beings. With that, the World Health Organization coined the term COVID-19, which stands for the CO for Corona, the VI for virus, D for disease, and 19 representing 2019. Now the first cases were isolated in human beings in 2019 in Wuhan, China. It's thought to have first been seen within the animal markets there, possibly from bats, and somehow transmitted into human beings. All right, Dr. Gilbert, so a question that we have is, how does one get the virus? That's a great question. So the coronavirus is a respiratory infection that affects our lungs. The respiratory infection is usually transmitted by respiratory droplets that are produced when someone coughs or sneezes. These respiratory droplets can travel up to six feet, which is why we've been given instructions to try to stay six feet away from our neighbors. So Dr. Amanda, tell me about some of the symptoms that we should be concerned about related to COVID-19. So COVID-19 is actually pretty tricky. So there are some times that people will have up to 14 days without having any symptoms at all. That's why we recommend that 14 day self quarantine in the event that you may have come into contact or have developed some mild COVID like symptoms. So when we're usually seeing those individuals who are without symptoms, they tend to be younger, healthy individuals. But that doesn't mean that they are not still capable of spreading COVID-19 to other more susceptible populations. Mm -hmm. So if you do contract COVID-19, what are some symptoms you may experience? They may include something like a dry cough or even a fever of 100.4 or higher, maybe even some GI symptoms like diarrhea. Now, there are some other individuals who end up presenting with more severe symptoms that can include things like severe shortness of breath, um, things like fatigue, or even things that we call lethargy or confusion. That's absolutely right. And there also is a high risk population that we are really concerned about. These are our individuals who are 60 years or older, individuals with chronic lung disease, as well as chronic heart disease, and also diabetes, all of which weaken the immune system from fighting off the infection like COVID-19. So now Dr. Lewis, the big question, how do I keep myself from catching this virus? Great question. So the first thing you should recognize is that you should wash your hands as often as possible. When you wash your hands, use soap and water and try to wash your hands for 20 seconds. If you don't have soap and water, you can use hand sanitizer. Try to make sure that it has at least 60% of alcohol. Rub your hands continuously until your hands are dry. The next thing you should focus on is coughing. If you have to cough, cough in your elbow. Try not to cough in your hand. Another thing you should watch out for is maintaining your six foot distance from your neighbor. If you want to reach your neighbor, you can wave, say hello, but try not to get in between that six foot distance. That's perfect, some really helpful tips for us. So, now that we presented you with all of this information, what do you do now? The biggest thing is to continue to practice that good hand hygiene as we just discussed, that social distancing, that's important too, and then also following whatever recommendations have been provided by not only your local, 
but also the state, government, and health departments. If you ever need more information about the COVID-19, feel free to visit a reputable site, coronavirus.gov, which is sponsored by the CDC. And remember to remain calm. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Remember to stay connected. Stay connected to your friends, your family, your church, and most importantly, stay connected to God. So in the spirit of connecting, we want you to go ahead and connect with us by following our Instagram page at Marriage, Ministry, and Medicine where we encourage you to build your life on the strong foundations of faith, family, and wellness. Thanks for tuning in. We look forward to speaking to you in the future. Be blessed and be encouraged.